Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl. Um, I really hate, uh, you know, doing videos like this, but it's a video that needs to be made. Um, I'm seeing so much crap going on right now, especially on Nintendo forums, on PC forums, on uh, what do you call it, uh, PlayStation 4 forums, you know, on Steam, every, you know, everywhere, you know, for PC, uh, Steam, um, pretty much everywhere, on forums, on everything, Mortal Kombat 11, uh, Nintendo, uh, pretty much anything they could find uh, about what's going on right now, which is being done to us. And as a gaming community, I always figured we were smarter than most of the people in the world that are, let's say, not part of a gaming community, where all of us could come together, uh, come to some common ground, we could take it out on the battlefield, on a digital battle, virtual battlefield, and then become friends afterwards. Um, politics. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Politics ruins friendships these days okay back in the day you could have a, a conversation with someone you could speak you can debate you can do all these things and in the end of the day everybody's just friends and everybody realized because back then i'm literally gonna say it, people were smarter uh than they are today it's not even a joke uh today everybody i think takes everything personal i mean jokes from chris rock was taken so freaking harsh uh jokes from uh you know today you can't even have richard Pryor jokes anymore which is one of my favorite comedians of all time um you know you can't have uh uh, you know, uh, Archie Bunker, uh, you know, I know I'm an old timer, but you can't have most of these shows that we enjoyed when I, when we were younger today would not be able to come out. Hell, even King of Queens people were talking about things that they were saying on, on that people have, people tended to not have a sense of humor anymore. And it's not because, you know, people just came to that conclusion. We were conditioned to be this way. This is not what I'm talking about here. You know, I hate rumor way stuff, and you know that I hate uh, uh, speaking about all kinds of uh, crap in terms of uh, what is called uh, what is it? A conspiracy. I, this is not a conspiracy. You could clearly see this with your eyes. What's going on with politics right now? They're putting it into everything. Okay, F who gives a damn? I mean, I, I don't understand how people feel right about politics being in our movies politics being now in our video games okay so i'm gonna take you through a little journey of mortal kombat 11 i'm gonna say why people become so freaking unhinged that they're going crazy over it okay uh, over over stupid things but also at the same time over justifiable things that need to be worked out asap and i'm gonna explain to you exactly where it came from uh, I'm also going to be telling you guys in the long run what Nintendo did, okay, something I want everybody to hear, what Nintendo basically said up yours to uh, these political uh, agenda whores, okay? So basically what's happening right now is, as you can see, they're driving an agenda to separate us, to divide and conquer us. This is the truth. This is, It's been going on forever. This is not a conspiracy. You could clearly see that. Back in the day when you had people, let's say Democrats and Republicans, they would cheer for them as if they are, you know, for teams. You know, like one is Yankee, a Yankee fan in baseball, the other is in baseball, a uh, Boston Red Sox fan. And you guys remember how heated the debate was between both of them, how they hated each other. But at the end of the day, they all hug each other and love each other and everything is great. That's how politics used to be. Today, it is literally one against the other to the point that there's murder going on. There's all kinds of horrible things from beatdowns to all... For what? Do you really think that these agenda-driven pieces of garbage give a rat's butt about any of us? Do you really think that any side gives a rat's ass about us? I mean, I, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around this, but, you know... In the gaming community, it's so funny how every time I remember my teachers, whoever plays games is a moron, is stupid, is simple-minded. And I used to always say, really? That's why we're always coming together. That's why people from all around the world can play video games together on the internet, you know, uh, you know, uh, playing against one another from Quake and, uh, you know, and so on and so forth. And you could play all these games, even free games now that you can play online, and everybody gets along just fine. Okay, you got to understand that it is those in position of power that are seeking to divide us. This is not, a, I don't want to sound like freaking Alex Jones or anybody, but he was right about that. The thing is, it is them against us. It really is this way. And they're putting politics right now 
into our video games, first into our movies, into our comic books, into our books, okay, into our education, and then they now bring it into the video game world because they know the video games is what connects us. Okay, I know it sounds extremely stupid, but if you guys go ahead and look, and as a psychologist, I could tell you, okay, based on my investigations that I used to do, because we had in class, I remember when I took it in graduate studies, they used to say, uh, you're for video games, you're against video games, okay, and we had to come up with something, all right? So I was for video games, okay, I chose that route. So everybody's talking about the bad that video games cause. All these video games causes people to kill people. Bullcrap. Okay, but that's that's the agenda they were trying to drive back in the day. Okay, so yeah, Mortal Kombat, you know, Sub-Zero ripping out a head with a torso. I'm going to go and do that. That's apparently what they think was going to happen. But anyways, I was talking about for it. So I was saying how video games actually unite people, bring them together. I mean, World of Warcraft, all of these games, they brought people freaking together. We made factions from people from all around the world. Even people who lived under oppression would play games with us, and we would be friends. Even if they hated America, and America, let's say, hated them. Anything. We came to a common bond, and we were together because of video games, and we you know, got each other's back. We went, you know, somebody tried to mess with our, our character and our clique, you know, we went and kicked his butt. It was always a big thing of unity. Video games united us. Movies did too. Movie going was very, very uniting. So they decided to poison that. Comic books. Everybody knows back, you know, especially back then, it united us. What did they do? They went after comic books and they started to saturate it with politics, political bullshit. Okay, and now they're doing it with video games. Okay, and I, and I I found it extremely funny. Okay, first off, Japan and Mortal Kombat 11 banned it because they said it was too violent. Okay, I get that. That's fine. Okay, but what's going on right now is beyond stupid. Because what's going on right now in Mortal Kombat 11, let's say, they people are talking about Jax's ending being the best to me. Jackie, I'm not going to say any, uh, any spoilers, but Jackie to me was by far the best ending ever that it actually brought a tear to my eye. Okay, but again, people think differently. Do we condemn people for thinking differently? Absolutely not. We all have our own opinions. But even those who share that opinion of, let's say, Jax's ending, which I'm not going to go too much, uh, you know, into. But let's say you agree with that. Okay, I love you for it because that's your opinion. I don't care if, if I'm not with that opinion. I love you for having that opinion. That you're different than, let's say, I would be if I didn't like this. You understand the point? But that's not the issue. What the hell is that doing in video games? What on earth is that doing in our video games? What is politics? And let me tell you, to you guys who even agree with this, what happens when they release something you don't agree with? Are you going to hate the other side? Of course you are. Because that's how we are programmed to be. Unfortunately, this is what they've done to the gaming community. They took it. They saw we were united. Well, that doesn't look good. Let's screw that up too. So obviously the stunts that was going on right now, uh, you know, they're saying, oh, they're, you know, uh, the, the women are, are dressed provocatively. I mean, you know, sexy and they shouldn't be dressed like that. They should be dressed like Amish girls. Yet they have no, no uh, problem with Sub-Zero ripping their heads off. Nothing makes sense. Because again, that's not the agenda. The agenda is to divide. Okay? If you look at the UFC, okay, Ultimate Fighting Championship, you guys look, women don't dress in these giant gowns. Okay? It doesn't make any freaking sense. Okay? It doesn't make any freaking sense. And how the heck don't you have a problem with guys being without shirts? This is what Mortal Kombat is. And I'm going to explain that right now, what it is. Okay? Some people are going to blame Ed Boon for it. Well, guys, you have to understand, another realm for it. Mortal Kombat always spat at the face of controversy. Okay? They always spat and said, the hell with you. This is the way our vision is. This is the way we're going to do it. The issue is Ed Boon pretty much sold out because they needed bigger, you know, backing. And that is where it came in, the W freaking B, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers and Disney are known to be tools for the agenda whores to drive people apart. I mean, clearly see that in their movies. You could clearly see that in any little thing. How they sneak and creep it in till you start finding Easter eggs that you could actually find out what the, you know, they meant. Okay? And to the young crowd out there, I ask you, the new generation, 
I want you guys to investigate this and to truly understand what I'm saying here. Okay? It's not about being for or against the certain, you know, story. It's about what is the agenda. We are being driven to be hating one another. And you could clearly see this in the forums. Out of Jax's ending, people are against and for it to the point that even this idiot, Syed, on Twitter, who is, by the way, an agenda tool... Okay, he, everybody knows that he's being he's being paid to do this. He's more like a free. He's exactly like a freaking bot. This idiot literally called a bunch of people who didn't agree with certain parts of the game. Even if you said, "I agree that a uh, a woman is you know the, in the UFC, you know women are dressed this and that and that," he would have you banned from Twitter. He would have you reported because it's not you know it's a bot who's doing all of the stuff, but he's getting paid for it. He's part of the agenda-driven whores. You understand that idiot Syed, what he did was he was trying to make, uh, you know, no justifiable argument. Basically, what he said is, if you don't agree with what he has to say, you're not a Mortal Kombat fan. People who were 25 plus years fans of Mortal Kombat, he's going to decide that they're not Mortal Kombat fans. The things that we loved about Mortal Kombat is that they didn't give a damn about this political crap. They didn't care. Because of them, we have rating systems in our games because they didn't give a crap what they were saying. And they went ahead and did it. And right now, because of WB, you clearly can see that it's going and it's shifting a wrong direction. Okay? For Shao Kahn to come out and actually say, make Outworld great again. I don't care if you're for President Trump, if you're against President Trump, to... When you see this as an individual, you clearly can see what they're pushing. This isn't a joke. They could hide behind it and say it's a joke. They could hide behind it and say whatever the hell it is. This is clearly to position people into hating President Trump. Now, again, whether you like him or not is irrelevant at this point. That is your decision. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is why is this in our freaking games? Trying to brainwash when people have their own freaking minds to make up. You understand? Again, if you're even for that and are laughing and are happy that they did that, what happens when they do something against what you guys think is right? What I think is right? What, what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Okay, already our freedom of speech is being limited. I mean, that's clearly seen on shitbook and all this other crap that's going around. Okay, that's why I love Instagram. I don't give a damn about anything anymore, about these social media. It's all, I mean, guys, they gave him a standing ovation to Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, they gave him a freaking standing ovation. Think about that. Both sides, not one side, both sides. Okay, I love it when people say I'm on the other side and not on, on this side. I'm on the left, not on the right. I'm on the right, not on the left. We're people, and they're playing us. The fact that they clapped and gave him a standing ovation because of social profiling. Oh, how easy everybody is to, to blame other things. Oh, this guy doesn't like this game. This guy doesn't like what I have to say. That, well, let's go kick each other's butt and do all kinds of things. This is exactly what the Nazi regime was about. Okay, that's exactly what, the, you know, what they did in the, in the Nazi regime. They, they pitted first one against the other. You know, people think it was just a combat against 6 million Jews. That, that's not even the point. What happened in the Holocaust happened, and it was horrible. But how did they start that? They first turned one against the other. They had, I forgot what it was called, yellow coats or whatever, who basically were the modern-day Antifa, who came in and tried to twist words and turn one brother against the other before it turned into what was called Nazi Germany. This is all agenda-driven. This is no conspiracy. You could clearly see Shao Kahn saying that. You could clearly see things... I mean, it doesn't matter what part of the spectrum you are. And I know some people are like, well, the, so the socialist agenda, this is the socialists who did that. Really? Because I know so many socialists on Twitter and everything, you could clearly see they're socialists, and they're against what they did with Mortal Kombat 11. They thought it was the dumbest thing in the world to bring politics into video games. Again, people... The way you think, that's what makes you unique. We all think differently. We're all different. This is what makes us special. This is what makes humanity special. But the second we become like blind sheep and start to believe in this crap and then hunt each other down, well, guess what? It's them against us and they are winning, clearly. 
So Nintendo basically said, up yours, okay? Uh, they, uh, uh, lay, um, I don't know what happened I, uh, from what I read. Uh, somebody who is uh, transsexual, uh, claimed to be a transsexual. Again, so this could be a bot uh, that is starting up some crap. And put up a, uh, on the game, a flag of, uh, you know, of a transsexual, uh, you know, a transsexual flag or something like that up on uh, uh, Nintendo. And Nintendo banned them. This whole big controversy war started. Isn't that funny how it just completely exploded? And Nintendo basically said, it's not just about that. Anything that is of politics, anything that is like any type, even if you put up anti-abortion flags, okay, or for abortion flags, it will be equally removed because Nintendo doesn't want politics in their games. Okay, Nintendo, that's the, the number one thing I love about Nintendo, okay, is, is the part that they know how they want their games to be. They, they, you know, are not really interested, as they said before, in top graphics. They're interested in making games that are enjoyable, enjoyable for the family. They don't want to destroy the family. They don't want to, you know, all of that stuff. They want to bring people together with their games. So now the whole world is turning against Nintendo because of that little incident when Nintendo clearly, and you'll see, it states every type of political thing whether it's left, whether it's right, it doesn't make a difference. It will not have a place in their video games. Nintendo is pioneering. They are leading the way to say, what the hell? You know, and they're sticking to their old ways of video games where we don't want politics in that. We want to unite people together in all of these things. And you don't know how much this breaks my heart. Because a lot of my friends that I see... That we were playing together Unreal Tournament. We were playing together Doom even when they had the online patches. And you know all my old time buddies right now cannot even take a joke from one another. Everybody is so freaking sensitive. How about we just agree that we're all freaking human beings? How about we agree that in the past they made mistakes? Okay? That yes, it's hard to, to forgive some of these things in the past for, so, you know, for some people. Okay, it could be whether you're a person of color who was, you know, had a family in the slave trade or and segregation. Whether you're a person who was an Israelite who was uh, in Nazi Germany, uh, what happened with the Holocaust? Obviously, Germany is different now. And when you're going into all kinds of different ways, we have to just understand that now we evolved. Okay, our people freaking evolved. Humanity has evolved for the positive. To bring people together. This is why they're pushing this. They didn't push this crap that much like they do today. What do you think? Because people, when they, you know, especially after the civil rights movement, uh, all of these things, when everything started to be going in the right direction, that's when they started pushing agendas. Okay? They knew they had to divide us. I mean, think about it. Dr. King sounded a lot when he was younger like Malcolm X. Uh, before he was, uh, you know, all into that piece. When did they have him killed? When he... Now I have a dream when he started to unite people. You understand? This is exactly what's going on right now. Right now, they're literally poisoning our video games. As Hitler said, control the youth, you control the future. This is exactly what they're doing, these agenda whores. And people on Twitter, you got to understand that you have a lot of fire starters that are hired by these agenda whores. To cause these issues, like Syed, like uh, what a Crackstein, whatever the hell their names are. I don't know, whatever, all these idiots. They're not socialists. They're not liberals. They're not Republican. They're not conservatives. They're just a bot with a mission. Okay, whatever they're programmed, the, uh, whatever to do. And they put a face behind it because they're getting paid to do that. Let this never enter our video games. From now on, People need to stick together. It's like I used to say about mac microtransactions. If you're seeing it's a, a pay to win, don't get that game. Do not let them win because then it's going to be a common practice. And guess what? It was. Now it is becoming a common practice where video games are releasing half-assed games. And then you, to get the complete game, you have to pay hundreds of dollars okay, to complete your game. Same thing is going to go on with politics. If they see that it's received well, whether you agree or not, you should always be against politics and games. Because the second you allow that crap in, you're going to have a division war. And that's not what we're about. The gaming community, okay, we go against each other in a virtual field. 
We don't need to go again, and then we, we're friends in the end. Sometimes they even join your freaking uh, your team. I can't. I, you know, I'm seeing in our TV, in our in our movies, and I love to escape and just play video games and just escape the stupidity that we call today a reality in this world to go into a fantasy world for a couple of seconds where I can play and just not hear all this bullshit. And now they bring this and I was playing mortal Kombat 11 and I love that game. I really do. I love the game. I do think that the microtransactions are cheesy and Ed Boon could say it's a lie. All he wants. He's a liar. Uh, they could say anything they want. I really love mortal Kombat, And because of that, I really dig the game, but I told you at the same time, I don't recommend people buy the premium edition buy the, the regular edition for 60 bucks and then choose your fighters uh, as it goes along. But right now with the politics that they injected into this thing, I mean, you can clearly see, and again, whether you hate Trump or not, it's irrelevant. What you're seeing here is how they're trying to modify your mind into affecting your decision-making skills. Do you have any idea how messed up that is? And, and it's so funny because people always say that's a conspiracy. And now you can actually see this happening right before you. Okay? And then what's going on with Jackson, the, the woke thing. I mean, they know exactly how to push buttons. They know exactly how to start fires. And we're all falling for it like suckers. Okay? We are all falling for it like suckers. Malcolm X even said none of the sites can be trusted. Hell, even Dr. King... When he was talking, he really didn't trust any side, even though he was a Republican. He didn't really trust any sides. Do you understand? Because they knew what the reality is. So people, I beg you, let this go to rest. Let them, you know, don't get games that input this and make yourself vocal. But don't turn on each other. Turn on the freaking makers of the game for doing that. Nobody should say, I don't agree with this, I don't agree with this at this point. At this point, we should just go up to the game to the gaming dev devs on Twitter, and you're already seeing that they're limiting. People are sounding off and not and doing what I'm saying right now, which is don't go against each other, go against the devs for putting politics in the game. And those that did that are being silenced. They're being thrown out of Twitter. They're being silenced because of that. Hell, this video right here might be taken down. Who the hell knows? Because I'm trying to bring peace between communities. You never know. I mean, I'd like to think YouTube is different. I, I really like what you, uh, how YouTube is going about. Uh, they, you know, a lot of my uh, antidepressant videos and stuff like that, they didn't like, even though it helped everybody that was on the antidepressant videos. How I showed them how to get through it. Uh, not even one person it didn't work on because I, I teach them that they don't need drugs. They could do it through themselves. And of course, what happened? They. Uh, they I had some complaints of people that didn't like it. Obviously, probably the doctors or something. But the thing is, in the end, they welcomed it. And YouTube saw that I was doing more good than, you know, affecting these guys. So I'd like to think that there's still some good people out there. And there's still a lot of good that's being done all over the platforms here. Okay, but there are always going to be people who are aimed to divide us. And we have to understand that it was always them against us. And we need to stick together as a community to fight against the evil. Evil unites, as I always say this in every one of my speeches. Evil unites. Okay, they, they're they united against us. But the good couldn't be more scattered. And as I end all my speeches, I have a quote that I always say. And I remember writing this in the John, believe it or not. <laughs> The corrupted shepherd is outnumbered by the sheep. Turn the sheep into lions and they shall devour the corrupted shepherd. My video here is nothing but love to all of you. I don't care what side you're on. It doesn't. Totally freaking irrelevant. Politics should not be in, the, in, in our video games. End of story. Politics should not be in our movies. Politics should not be in our comic books. Leave politics where it belongs in debates and stuff and whatever. Washington and among internet whatever but do not bring it into video games into movies into our comic books into our tv shows from now on if i see any of this politic political crap i'm not even going to bother with it i'm not going to bother with it if i wasn't doing a review channel because i want to save people money literally if i wasn't doing that and i heard about that little fiasco what happened there with with um 
you know, uh, Shao Kahn and the, the whole uh, controversy with the women dressed and all this kind of crap, I would have not gotten Mortal Kombat 11 till it came out in G2A maybe a year or two later where I'll be paying 5 or $10 for it. That's really what would be the end result. That's really the, my, my thing on it. I do not approve of this. I hate it. Absolutely. I think we already are being divided as much as possible already from all the stupid politics. We're trying to unite here. This is a gaming community. Like I said, when teachers were saying we were the dumb ones, we were the smartest ones. Okay? We're different than everybody else. We're people who come together and the face, we spit at the face of evil. We come together as a community no matter what. Let this be, you know, I don't know what to say here. I'm just, go out there and investigate it and just see how it is. And, and please comment down below. I want to hear what you guys think. We're the smartest community alive. We are. We're different. Let us be the pioneers. Let us be the people that raise awareness to the division. And let's come together as a people and show them how us video game communities know how to kick it. And how they don't. Have a good one, y'all. Uh, I really hate making a video like this, but it's gotten to the point where I want to vomit right now. That's how disgusting it's been in the gaming community. Lots of props to Nintendo for standing up against politics. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope we could all agree to that. Uh, if not, I'd like to hear your comments. <clears throat> like I said, we're all different. Um, we're all, that's what makes us unique. Have a good one, y'all. Uh, if you like what you see, as always, self-funded, independent reviews. Help out this channel, our channel, the People's Channel, by liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here. Be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come. Definitely want you guys in it, and I want, to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.